Hey, this is Latif Mikado, and you're listening to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, where I take some time each night to try and reflect on the freestyle scene, where it is, where it's going, and try to figure out how to sustain it, not just for future generations to enjoy, but also to benefit. So sit back, relax, and let's talk some freestyle. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Latif, and welcome to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast. And this is episode 83. It is, what's today? Monday night? Or Tuesday night? Shoot. Hold on. Today's Monday. (laughs) March 23rd. 2020, yo, that's funny, man. Oh, snap. <laughs> totally, totally losing track of the days. Uh, <laughs> I bet you I'm not the only one, though. Um, hoping uh, you guys are all doing well. And um, uh, getting some, uh, maybe something positive out of this whole situation. Uh, maybe you guys are getting some much needed rest. Maybe it's hard to rest when you're stressed, but you should try. You should try. Um, there has to come. There has to be something in this whole situation um, for us to get out of it. Um, my situation is uh, number one. Uh, I don't know. Okay, my goal with the podcast was to keep this going every single day. At least for the first year, at the at the very least, that will be 365 episodes. Okay, um, I believe that by the time I get to my 365 episode, I cannot see myself stopping. If anything, I might upgrade, do something on a uh, maybe I'll take this throw a video on it. I don't know. I don't want to make it difficult. I want to still keep it. So, Good Night Freestyle will probably still be the way it is. Um, I guess by then it'll be also, you know, probably second nature. I mean, right now I'm actually handling handling it. It's okay. It's not a burden at all. Um, I'm able to break away. I, I made it so it's easy to set up. I, I made it so um, it's easy to, to edit, load, upload. Um, I have no scripts to worry about. I could take this anywhere. I could take it outside. I could take it in the store, in the car, in the plane. Um, and that was the whole purpose of this, and I'm glad I did it. I, I feel I feel good about it. You know, I love when I uh, accomplish something, when I, I, I tackle something. It's not even about whether it was great or it was good. One of the problems that we all tend to have, I'm 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 probably at the front of the line with this, is I sometimes look for perfection before I start something. And a lot of you guys probably feel the same way, especially if you're in the arts. If you're in the arts, uh, before you. Record, you want it to be perfect. Before you go out there and perform, you want it to be perfect. Before you, you know, you try your hands at acting, you want to be perfect. And sometimes that's not what it's about. Sometimes perfection can be our biggest enemy. Sometimes we need to just jump in the water and start to swim. Let me tell you something. Listen to my first couple of episodes of, of this podcast. I'm not saying that I'm spectacular now. In no way, but I can feel the difference. I can feel it. I'm not as conscious. Before, it seemed like there was a thousand of you just kind of standing over me, watching me, watching me uh, uh, do the podcast. Now it feels like I'm talking to one of you. And I know several of you that listen to this podcast um, every night. And 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 even though I feel, um, I'm. I'm I feel like I'm talking to one person. It's not one person in particular. You know what I'm saying? So I, I could, when I'm talking, I, I visualize a lot of you guys um, as if I'm speaking with you directly. And uh, it's not something I'm trying to do. It's what's it's happening uh, naturally. It's just that's the way it's turning out. Um, and uh, I'm cool. I feel I feel good about it. I look forward to the podcast. So far, I, I haven't. I think I had a couple of nights that I was pretty sleepy. I was I was kind of tired, and um, and you guys uh, caught that one because I would yawn. I still do that once in a while. That's just me. I'm not a nighttime 
person. I'm, you know, I get up really early, but I'm not going to do the good morning podcast. That's not going to work. <laughs> the good night one is good. Not only that kind of gives me something to talk about, depending on what's going on, you know, uh, during the day, you know. So, you know, today, uh, heavy, heavy mission. I'm getting to... Uh, the final stages of Yes, Yes, Y'all, which is my newest novel. It's a three-part series for you guys. Um, for those who don't know, if you have my book, Freestyle for Life or Freestyle, you notice it's like 50 plus chapters. I think 55 chapters in Freestyle for Life. Well, Yes, Yes, Y'all is three books. Each one of them is more or less 55 chapters. So we have about 100, uh, approximately 150 chapters between the three of them. Um, I would say two, four, six, maybe 700 pages between all three of them. And we'll say about 300,000 words between all three of them. And uh, this is for my new novel, Yes, Yes, Shaw. Now, um, it goes to manufacturing on the 27th. Now, um, I'm just praying that I don't have any delays because I put so much time and I'm, I'm really tracking away right now because I want to make sure I'm, I'm good for the deadline. Now, the books are ready, basically ready to go. Um, I don't want to submit before the 27th. I want to make sure um, that everything is, is on point. So I'm just going through it uh, back and forth and just making sure everything is tight. Um, putting a lot of hours into it. Every once in a while, I got to stand up and stretch doing most of my work outside the office so a lot of my writing I'm doing in the dining room and it's cool because I put some music on and kind of vibe uh look out the window you know and just just a different kind of kind of scenery when I'm in the office here uh it's kind of a different head it's a different head over here is where I usually do contracts it's is where I'm usually selling um I do create a lot here I work on my funnels I am uh, there's a lot of stuff that I do here, but um, when I'm writing, I need to, I, I can't have distractions. I work with um, one of my lab. I have a laptop that I purchased an HP uh, a few years ago that I purchased specifically for my books, okay? So I don't have it connected to Wi-Fi. I don't have any programs, no outside programs. It doesn't connect to the cloud at all. I keep it totally offline. Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> I keep it totally offline. It's it's all it is 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 a computer, and um, and uh, that's why I do my writing uh, on those. Uh, and it seems it, that tends to work because I'm not looking at the same screen. So, but so far the book is really coming out good. Um, um, just about finished with book two. Now, mind you, the books have been finished. All I'm doing is fine fine tuning them, doing a little editing, cleaning it up. Um, adding some new stuff, some places, getting rid of stuff that is to me is like unnecessary. Um, I do that a lot. Sometimes I can write an entire page, uh, leave it alone for whatever, a few months, come back, and I don't like that page, and I'll totally find a good place to cut it, and I'll cut practically, if not the whole page. So I've done that several times during uh, this process. Uh, but it's it's coming along, so I f- I feel good about that. Um, what else is uh, is going on? Uh, that's 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 pretty much the extent of, of you know. Um, I'm sure you guys are checking out my TikToks. I appreciate you checking them out. Uh, my little way of breaking away. Um, I love being creative. I love the fact that they're really short, 15 seconds, so it gives me an opportunity to kind of uh, flex that muscle and. Uh, and uh, I have to spend the whole day doing it. So a lot of times I'll knock out those TikToks really early in the morning before anybody even wakes up sometimes. Uh, if you see the family involved, a lot of times that was done in the evening. Um, but early in the morning, I'll knock out some of them. And I kind of I like them. I, I, there's something about it. I think it's a great app. I think it's fun. Uh, there's a lot of adults, uh, a lot of people over 30. I'm over 50. <laughs> but uh, there's a big... A big um, a big community over 30 uh, doing the TikTok so I'm a part of that community of course Um, and uh, it's cool it's cool and um, I appreciate all you guys who have been liking them I put them on Facebook I'm noticing a lot of people now getting on TikTok a lot of people that I know personally and it's cool little Susie now got on it Uh, I see um, uh, Mel uh, Marty from Sweet Sensation her husband 
Um, <laughs> several people that I noticed uh, are getting on, and it's cool. I saw Juana from uh, JJ Fad. Um, who else is on it <sighs> that I've seen? Uh, there's there's gonna be more. There's gonna be more. So, but it, it's you know, it, listen. Sometimes you yeah, have my brother Keith. If you guys don't know Keith, he's my brother Keith Mercado. Check him out. Give him a shout out. Um, he's a funny dude. <laughs> him and his uh, his girl Marnie. Um, but anyway, uh, yes, yeah, so I've been I've been doing those. Those those kind of cool. I'm having a good time with those. Um, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I kind of wing those also. What I'll do is I get up early, and um, I'll, do, I'll start getting some writing done, and then in between our break and kind of look at some of the TikToks and. I'll find one that um <clears throat> that I'm interested in doing it in doing, you know. Feeling a little tired today, a little sluggish. Um, I'm just I think it's just a lot on my mind. I have a lot that I'm dealing with. I'm not the only one. <laughs> There's people dealing with a lot more than me, so I am not special at this point. I'm sure you guys listening to this right now probably all have your own your own things going on and I just wanna just tell everybody, man, just keep your head up. You know, listen, what, what's the worst, you know? Uh, sometimes we'll run out of money, can't pay certain bills. Um, you know, try to make sure you keep food and water. Uh, all the other bills, man, they're just going to have to wait. You know, call, get them deferred, whatever you have to do, you know? Uh, no one should be able to, uh, to hold you hostage with anything, you should be able to get everything deferred until this thing is messed up, uh, is all corrected. Uh, um, you focus on your food, keep your family inside, um, and uh, just try to make the best of it. You know, it's a scary situation. Uh, I don't. I try not to watch the news. I do catch it though. I don't totally dismiss it, but I can't watch it all day. I can't. I can't have them drilling that thing into my head constantly. I just can't do it. You know. Um, be careful. Um, try to do a little research at least to know the symptoms, you know. Uh, so they say, like, you'll start with a sore throat. Um, what they're saying um, is that the coronavirus cannot survive in, in heat. This is what they're saying. It cannot survive in heat. And the reason why it begins in the nose is because the nose, the nasal uh, passageway is the coolest. Is I, I thought they said the coolest part of your body. The nasal, which you're pulling your cool air, you know, and it makes sense. It really does. So they say a lot of times the the, the virus will make its way into your nose, and um, and then from there it will infect your nose, and then it'll start to create mucus, and it'll start to drip, and it'll drip down your throat, and that's how your throat now gets infected, and um, and then from there I think they say it drops down into your into your stomach, and then, and then it starts to uh, into your chest, uh, and that's how you start to get that upper respiratory uh, infections, and you can't breathe. So, um, yeah, if you can, try to educate yourself just so you know the, the signs. Uh, man, I'm one of those, I'm one of them dudes that always think I'm going to get something, man, you know? Um, it's crazy, but that's not the way I want to go. <laughs> so I'm hoping that, I'm praying that uh, it doesn't hit me, and I'm praying that uh, it doesn't hit uh, anyone I know, if anything. You know? So, but uh, my dog is over here snoring. I don't know if you guys can hear him. Hey, Coco. Hey. Wake up. Sorry. I got to wake up, man. She'll start snoring, and you guys probably can't hear her, but I could, and it'll annoy the hell out of me, you know. Um, other than that, uh, not, not my, man, phones are not ringing, <laughs> you know. Uh, uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, it, it's crazy because like they're making it seem it's like it's gonna be another f- 14 days, but huh, I could see this going on. I could see them at the end of 14 days say it's gonna be another 10. They say it's gonna be another five, and then another 12, and then another 30 days, and I can see, I can see how that can happen. You know, they're talking about the economy right now. Like a lot of people are worried about the economy uh, crashing, and yeah, and that could be a bad situation also. So this could really be um, quite a bit of a, a travesty. This could really be bad. Um, I'm just hoping that this gets fixed. I'm hoping. I think more people need to stay home, though. I really do think people need to just 
listen, some people think that they're not going to get affected. They think it's bullshit. Man, listen. Why take the chance? Really? Really? Why take the chance? If the entire world is is trying to stay in and, and they're doing that self-isolation and quarantine and stuff, then what makes you think they're just so smart that you know better? I doubt if you know better. I doubt if you're smarter than the rest of the world. So you need to listen to them because remember, they say that you could contract this and you won't know for 14 days. And during that 14-day span, when you think you're feeling all great and dandy, you'll be touching other people. Okay, and as soon as you touch someone and they get it and you don't even know you have it yet, and now they go off and they start touching people and this is how this thing is spreading. So, you know, try to stay home. Don't take, don't, you know, don't take it for granted, man. Don't, don't, um, you know, try to, try to, um, try to listen to what they're saying. You know, if you don't need to go out, stay your ass home. You know, I see these people uh, going to parties. People are going to, you know, I mean, people going to work. Okay. Uh, I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, really, the jobs that are still Operating, and if it's not, you know, you know, like law enforcement, the military, medical, then, man, you should be staying your ass home, man. You should not be going to work either, you know. So, this is just, this is crazy. It's, it's, it's almost like a dream. It's almost like it's not real. It's like a movie, you know. But, um, I want to get past this book once I'm done with Yes, Yes, Y'all. If we end up going, you know, having to uh, isolate longer. Um, I'll be going right into another project. So I won't be bored. I will not be bored. I have a TikTok I'm going to do uh, about being bored in a minute, but I'm not bored. Trust me. <laughs> uh, I always have plenty to do. And um, I kind of can't wait to start my next project uh, with my writing. I'm not going to do the three books anymore. That was a killer. That that kicked my ass, man. I won't do that again. Um, it was cool. It was cool. But... Um, what happens is you get bored after a while, you know, of, of the story. Okay, I was just talking about I don't get bored. No, no, of the story, meaning it's not exciting. Like when I write, I'm excited when I'm writing because I don't know what's going to happen next. But after you write the story and you got all these pages and then you have to go back and rewrite and reread and rewrite, um, now it begins the story. Is it exciting anymore? It's starting to get boring, you know? So I want to get past this one. There's a great, great book, though. I'm excited now, um, and I'm actually reading through it for the first time in a while. Uh, so I'm, I'm reading a lot of stuff that I totally forgot about. So it's kind of cool. Now, if I have to go back and do it again, uh, it's gonna, that's not going to be cool. I'm not going to be happy with that. So I'm trying to get it right the first time. But anyway... Um, once I'm done with that, I'm going to work on my next project. I have a, two or three different projects. I have to pick one. I can't do, I can't write two or three books at once. Some people can do that. I can't. I can't. I have to because what happens is throughout the day, I have to think about what I'm writing. So if I have a story or I have a plot, I need to put that one plot in my head all day. So that way when I finally sit down at the page, I can, I can tell the story, you know. So, But uh, that's it, guys. Um, I just wanted to reach out again tell you thank you uh don't forget to share subscribe and uh the new podcast all of these episodes i'm gonna start up uploading to facebook again um i was doing it before where i would upload it um after i would do the podcast then i would i would um <clears throat> render it into a video and then i would put it on youtube and then from youtube on facebook but it, it was getting, it was becoming a lot of work. So I just, it was just not that the work was a lot. The rendering time takes a long time. So it was taking almost three hours for one 20 minute um, podcast, three hours. So, um, and that was just to render it. That wasn't, inc- that wasn't including the uploads on YouTube, plus filling out the description and all the tags and stuff as well as uh Facebook, so probably an easy four and a half hours uh, for per podcast. I had to figure out another way of doing that, which I did. So I'll start. I'll be uploading those again real soon. So, all right, guys, listen. Uh, take it easy. Be safe. Please uh, take heed to the warnings out there. Okay, be safe. Uh, and until tomorrow, good night, freestyle. Before I lay me down to sleep, I pray to hear a freestyle beat. 
For if I die before I wake, I hope to make it to the break.